What's the matter, Dwayne? Forget the password. <laughs> That's a good one. Not this time. No, Madeline's in there taking a pregnancy test. Dwayne, Dwayne, Dwayne. Did you have anything to do with this? Guilty. I am the perpetrator. <laughs> well, are you sure, Dwayne? You might want to dust you for prints. What do you mean? Well, Madeline has quite a past. Rumor has it she once kissed the triangle player from the marching band. No way. No, my Madeline would never be involved with a musician type. <laughs> Listen, how do you think your mom is taking all of this? Lately, all she does is watch me. Watch me and chop vegetables. Carrots? Yeah. Am I missing something? Not yet. But don't lose really sight of what's really important here. What's that? Well, the thought that Madeline might have a bun in the oven has Mom so freaked out. She's completely off my case. I can get away with murder. And do. Well, we'll find out if I'm pregnant in about two minutes. Pregnant? Wait a second. Have you two been doing the deed? Jerry, it is known as marital relations. Or in your world, thanks for the gum. Yeah, it's really important. Mom, why are you ignoring us? I'm not ignoring you. Here, Dwayne, I can't get your head off. <laughs> oh, never mind. Pick up one BLT with extra mayo. <laughs> Mom, our test was negative. Oh, thank God. Oh, you kids must be so relieved. Now look, you two. I hope you've learned your lesson, and from now on you'll be more careful and stop having sex. <laughs> I know accidents happen, but this was partly my fault because I was in prison when you got married. So I never had a chance to have that sex talk with you. I thought Carrie would take care of it. Mom, I am not naive. I took copious notes in health class, which Dwayne and I carefully reviewed before the honeymoon. <laughs> Okay, we're going to have that talk right now. First of all, what kind of birth control are you using? Um, Lots of well, stuff. Well, yeah, usual I mean, stuff people, people use. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Second question. For the love of God, what kind of birth control are you using? <laughs> Dwayne, honey, don't you have to get to work? I'm really late. Oh. This was an accident, right? A goof, a fluke, a blunder. Pick one. Oh, my God. They're breeding. <laughs> Madeline, come back here. I can't believe you're trying to have a baby. How could you do this without telling me? Gee, I don't know, Mom. I was afraid you might freak. Lord knows how you respond to unwelcome news. Boy, you shoot your husband one time. <laughs> You lost your mind. You're only 19 years old. You had me when you were 17. Boy, you have a teenage pregnancy one time. <laughs> okay, two times. <laughs> but what about all your hopes and dreams? What about college? What about a career? Mom, those are your hopes and dreams. Okay, what about my hopes and dreams? <laughs> Mom, this is our decision. We want to have a family. Besides, I haven't ruled those things out. You were still able to have kids and graduate high school. I was in prison. The valedictorian was executed. <laughs> Honey, it's not the same thing. You're not ready for this. 
Hey, Mom, I'm gonna go burn down the cabins and move in with my boyfriend. <laughs> Don't forget your keys. <laughs> this is so cool. Madeline, I want you to listen to me. It's too soon for you and Dwayne to have a baby. Well, Mom, I've got some news for you. Dwayne and I might not be able to have a baby. What are you talking about? We've been trying ever since we got married, and so far, nothing. I'm beginning to worry there might be something wrong. Oh, honey, now that's less than a year. That's not unheard of. Oh, I'm sure you'll be able to have kids, and hopefully by then you'll be remarried. <laughs> How long did it take you and Daddy to conceive? Well, let's see. The drive-in movie started at nine. I had to be home by midnight, so... Two minutes. Two minutes? You call that planning? That's what the first minute was for. Oh, now look, if you're really worried about this, we'll get you and Dwayne checked out. Don't you worry. I'll call around and make all the arrangements. Thanks, Mom. You don't know what this means to me. Two minutes? <laughs> Does it bother you a lot that you were unplanned? No. No, I know you and Daddy love me. I'm just thankful you didn't name me Jujube. <laughs> It's hotter than Hades in here. Well, it is a tad warm. Which raises an interesting question. Dwayne, why are you shivering? I, I got... Speak up, son. I've got ice in my underwear. You want to cut cards to see who asks why? Mom set up an appointment at the fertility clinic for, for Madeline and me tomorrow to, to go get tested. We're going to find out how much... Ammo I'm packing. You want to cut cards to see who asks what the hell he's talking about? Look, Madeline and Dwayne are trying to make me a proud grandpa, so I don't care if you want to stuff Ben and Jerry down there. Let's just leave the boy alone and play cards. Hey, he's got ammo and ice in his pants. My interest is peaked. Well, I'm wearing special underwear. I read somewhere that lowering the temperature increases the firepower. So what you're saying is you're cramming for the test. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I'm really not looking forward to that fertility clinic. God, it's embarrassing. Everybody knows why you're there and what you're about to do. Tell me about it. I've been there before. Really? Well, have you had a problem, Mr. Merriweather? Hell no, I'm a donor. Got my own parking space. I don't know why Madeline and I are even bothering to take this test. I know it's me. We Cooper men have a history of, well, let's just say that the fruits of our loins tend to be seedless grapes. Seedless grapes? Frozen ammo? Your problem isn't sexual, son. It's literary. You're mixing your metaphors. I knew it was me. Ah, oh, Dwayne, you're probably just overreacting. I got a feeling once you defrost, you're going to come through with flying colors. Yeah, well, I hope so. Because I got to tell you, Jack Frost isn't exactly nipping at my nose. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Me and the missus didn't hit the jackpot for a couple of years. Now we got more kids and you can shake a stick at. Well, which works, by the way. Well, well, thanks, everyone. Now, can we please just drop the subject and play cards? Uh, Good idea. Are you sure you're doing it right? You can't do it wrong. If you're doing it, you're doing it right. Uh, are you doing it? Yeah, we're doing it. We're, we're doing it all the time. We're doing it all over the house. You know, guys, I'd love to talk about this all night. I just have one little problem. What's that, Sonny? We're talking about my daughter. Oh, all right, sorry. Thank you. Well, let's just play poker. All right, well, read them and weep. <laughs> Dwayne, you made the drinks, right? Mm -hmm. Where'd you get the ice? All right, 
boys, what'll it be? Well, Madeline, uh, Lyle and I find ourselves in a highly embarrassing position. Yeah, it was Viva Las Vegas night last night at the church, and we lost our butts. We were hoping you'd stake us to a breakfast. Oh, you boys still haven't learned your lesson, have you? All right, let's make this interesting. If you can guess which cup the pat of butter is underneath, you'll get breakfast on the house. Oh, gee, where could it be? <laughs> Looks like breakfast is on you. That's right. Let me just cut this in half for you. <laughs> and yet she has the face of an angel. So did the nun who was running the crap table last night. Whoa, whoa. I don't know about this. Your mom scares me. Don't worry about her, Drake. She's totally out of it. Watch this. Uh, Mom, I don't feel like working today, so we're gonna go up to my room and listen to CDs. We prefer not to be disturbed. That's nice, honey. <laughs> Drake, you hit those steps and you're a grease fire. <laughs> Want to come? How did the trip to the clinic go yesterday? Well, our little Madeline was a trooper, and our little trooper wasn't. Uh, that's understandable. It's a lot more pressure on the guy, and he has to perform. Oh, what pressure? You get to go into a little room and spend time with your three favorite things. <laughs> dirty magazines, dirty movies, and yourselves. <laughs> if they serve beer, you'd never leave. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, your masculinity is on the line, Con. And you come out too soon, they giggle. You come out too late, they giggle. If you come out giggling, you're a pervert. Well, you must be on to something. Wayne was a wreck. He actually went into the wrong room. When he saw the janitor's bucket, he started to cry. Poor guy. Oh, no, 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 no. He got through it okay. He came away with a sense of accomplishment and uh, a janitor who's never going to forget him. <laughs> Honey, what are you doing home? Waiting for those test results is driving me crazy. Have you heard anything yet? No. Are you nervous? A little. You? A lot. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Just remember, no matter what, we are in this together. Yo, Ken, Barbie, the clinic's on the line. <laughs> you take it. No, you. No, you. Oh, okay, honey, let's take it together. And remember, no matter how things turn out, I will always love you, and I won't think less of you as a man. Well, there's a problem I hadn't even considered. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>